Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. This is so funny, it's like the third time that I filmed this video because I keep thinking th of things I want to add. Anyway, I'm packing up my stuff to go away for the week with my family. Uh, we rent this little cabin on a lake and it's just beautiful and we just spend a week away from it all. And so we have plenty of time to work on little projects and just relax. And every year I bring um, some art supplies for the kids to use and I always keep it a surprise and it's stuff they haven't used before or they haven't used since the previous year. So it kind of keeps it fresh and new and I try to stick to a fairly limited amount so um, they don't get overwhelmed with choice. So I'm going to start off by showing you what I'm bringing personally to work with and then I'm going to show you what I'm bringing for my uh, family to use. So um, so let's get to it. So the first thing that I'm bringing is this little this little device. <laughs> it's a watercolor palette. It's uh, a, called a portable painter and um, I was just recently contacted by the company. They asked me if I would review it and this came out about a year ago and I was really interested in it, but I was thinking, geez, I don't need another watercolor palette even though it looks really cool. Um, but when they offered, they asked me if I would like to review it, I thought, you know what, I really would because I think it's a really innovative thing and um, and I'm just, I, I think it would be perfect for me where I like to do a lot of painting from a kayak. So the, it comes with two water containers that that slide on the palette here to the edge and these become legs. You can either set them on the ground or on a table and you have dirty water and clean water and uh, it holds your palette. You got two mixing areas that fold out and it also comes with a brush that actually has two tips and uh, the palette comes with 12 empty half pans that you can fill yourself or some half pans will work in there like the smaller ones like the Cotman, the ones where Newton half pans will fit. Um, but like the, the empty ones I bought from Jackson's Art are too big. They won't slide down into the wells, but you can always fill the ones that come with it and, uh, and you'll be fine. I was, I just got this in and I uh, used some full pans that I already had, <clears throat> full half pans that I already had, but I did have to fill a couple. So I'm being careful not to tip it because um, I don't want my paint to ooze all over the place. But, um, but the brush is all right. I mean, it's probably about like a size four and a size one maybe for size comparison. So I'll be bringing a larger round just so I have something a little juicier. And then this band will slide on the leg and you can put the little clip on there so you don't lose it. And you can also use that band to hold your brushes and pens in place while you are, um, while you're painting. So um, it's a nice hands-free palette. And I think that'll be great kind of just sitting over my thigh as I'm sitting in the kayak and painting um, as I paddle around. So I do that a lot and I have dropped my paints before and um, uh, hopefully this will alleviate some of that, <laughs> uh, that clutziness. As far as paper, what I'm bringing is, um, oh, and I did swatch out my paints just to see what sort of uh, combination I would get from those because I was kind of limited as to what would fit in there, not wanting to squeeze out too much paint and have it, you know, wet and drying. Um, I'm going to bring up some, bring some pads that are, that I have a few sheets left in each. I've got Strathmore Visual Journal. I find that's a really great one to take with me because it has a lot of sizing. Um, then I've got three of the blocks that I made last summer. I have a DIY watercolor paper block video on my channel. If you want to know how I made these, it's very easy and really cheap, a lot cheaper than buying pre-made blocks. And then I've got this uh, kind of six by 12 panoramic pad that I've got a few sheets left in that I'm going to, um, that I'm going to bring as well. Okay, so that's watercolor supplies. Mm. I'm also going to bring my new chameleon pencils because they have two colors on each end. They're compact and um, everybody can use these. I think they'll be fun for adding accents to my watercolors, but also using in my adult coloring books. I decided to bring like four because, well, we're a family of five and I can't imagine everyone's going to want to color at the exact same time. And if so, they can tear out a page. But I like these books because they have really nice paper and um, and the designs are, are nice. They're not like cutesy and kitty. They're, you know, they're definitely a little more sophisticated. And I just, I enjoy this, this brand of coloring books quite a bit. I don't do that much coloring because it doesn't feel very practical to spend that much time coloring. But um, my family loves it and I do enjoy it, especially when I'm like getting away from it all and relaxing. So to go with that, I have um, <clears throat> these dual ended colored pencils. These are just the, uh, these are the ones I bought before I got the chameleon ones thinking, well, let's, if I want dual end pencils, I'll just get these. And they, the colors have nothing to do with each end. So, I mean, this is just a convenient way to hold less colors. I also, or hold more colors. Yeah, because you get 24 colors in these 12 
pencils. Does that make sense? And it's got a sharpener. So anyway, I brought that because I thought the kids would get a kick out of it and they would uh, enjoy using it. I'm going to bring this set of dual brush markers because um, a lot of people prefer to use markers in their coloring books and they have a fine tip and a brush tip. So I think that will be nice and it's all compact in a little case. I should link up these things in the video description. I will try to remember that. Oh, by the way, I'll probably be returning on the day this film, this uh, publishes. So if you have any questions on how any of this stuff worked out, did I actually use it or not? Let me know in the comments below because I'll be back by then and I can, um, <clears throat> and I can help you out. I can help you out. I can answer your questions. And I'm also going to bring this set of gel pens. This is by Color It, the same company that made those coloring books. I'm going to bring this set of gel pens because they can be used for so many different things. And I think that um, for some of those really detailed coloring pages, they would be really fun. That way there'll be plenty of things to color with. Um, I'm also bringing this little sketchbook, which can be teamed up with any of the coloring mediums for uh, like my son, if he wants to go sketch or color or draw. I don't know if he will, but the option is there. Um, for my daughters, I'm pretty much bringing two of these identical, oh, they're almost identical kits. Um, I have these little rock and roll charm bracelets, and actually these were left over from their, like, I think it was like their uh, birthday party when they were six or seven. It was the little craft we all did. Um, and it has a little instruction sheet and all the supplies. It was from Oriental Trading Company. Um, and I got like a, I don't know, a 12 pack or maybe two 12 packs or something. That's why I have some left over. So I'm sure they don't even remember these so they can follow the directions and make themselves a little rock and roll charm bracelet. They're really cute. And um, I also have a set of watercolors for them each. They're, these are the Phoenix ones. And then I have a Grumbacher one over there because I, I happen to have them then they're good quality and the kids will enjoy um, the robustness of the colors and I have them they each have a visual journal to work in they really liked these last year so I decided to grab them again this year and they each have a few stencils because they like to, they like to draw stencils and then paint them in it's funny they just enjoy that now something new that I've never done before and I think the girls will enjoy are these um, embroidery these stamped embroidery kits and these are actually going to be Christmas presents but <clears throat> something like I just kind of started my KonMari like minimalism not even minimalism just like trying to get my act together basically journey in probably January or February I always would get this panic before Christmas like oh my gosh do I have enough stuff and then I would just start grabbing everything it was just it was bad um and so as I was like wrapping presents this year I was like you know what if I give these to my girls now, they're just going to get shoved in a corner because you get so much stuff at once. You can't appreciate any small thing. And something like this is just going to get pushed to the wayside. So I decided to hold them out. And um, then I was uh, gathering up things to bring on vacation. I realized, you know, I think this would be the perfect opportunity to bring these out because um, they had these two kits. They weren't very expensive. They're um, my first stitch kits by Busilla. And this one actually has an embroidery hoop in it. And it's got everything you need to do this little needlepoint or embroidery. I'm not really sure what the difference is. I've never done like needlepoint cross stitch embroidery, any of those, uh, those string crafts. So I'm actually looking forward to these. If they don't want to do them, I'll, I'll do one. I'll try it. Um, and then there's this one here, which is, um, has everything to do this little project, but it doesn't have the hoop. So I figure that they could use the hoop for this. That is if you, I would imagine you would want a hoop because it looks like there's a hoop on the package. Um, so this one has a hoop that they could put that in and it looks like it's the same size. So wish me luck on that. So I have two of these, two of each of these so they can do those projects. And I thought it would be kind of something fun and new and it might start them off on a new hobby. My daughters really enjoy knitting. So um, <clears throat> I think something like this would be very similar to that, but they, they do a lot of like knitting, like they'll knit scarves and knit scarves and knit scarves. They don't really follow patterns. So I think something like this where you're beginning to kind of follow a pattern um, in a stitch craft might give them a little bit uh, more of an idea of what is possible when you're doing uh, fiber arts. So uh, wish me luck. I mean, I'm not a terribly patient person, but this is something where you have a whole week and you don't have phones, internets, computers, all that stuff distracting you. You can really kind of chill, settle out, not worry about, you know, finishing something in the shortest amount of time. You can just enjoy it and take the time that you want. I think that's why, um, I like to take vacations that are just like getting away from it all and having quiet and being in nature because I always feel like there's a deadline and there's a rush and um, sometimes you don't even get to settle in and enjoy what you're doing because you're just trying to get it done so that you can do the next thing because you put yourself in such a crazy pace. I know some people love to go on vacations and they like to tour and they like to pack every day full, um, but 
but that's not me. <laughs> that's not us. We're definitely a family that likes to just kind of chill out and enjoy nature and uh, and I guess we're very fortunate that we live in Maine because there's a lot of nature to enjoy, especially in the summer. They're so short. You want to like squeeze every moment you can, every good moment of good weather you can out of it. Um, so anyway, little, didn't mean to get all philosophical on you, but by the time this video goes up, I will be back. If you have any questions on how any of this worked out, let me know in the comments below. Um, maybe I'll add more to it, but I'm not refilming this video. This is the third time. <laughs> so if I bring something else, I will let you know when I get back. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.